Harrison. Let's try to talk to Harrison again. Hello? Harrison. Hey, how's it going, man? What's up? Didn't I sing about your name or something? Yeah, and then you, and then Royce made a choice of it, so... Oh, really? I showed that to everybody, and they think I'm the coolest person ever now. Wow, that did it, huh? That was the one thing. Now the girl will give me her number. Nice. I have the beat, and I showed it to one friend. He says, dude, this is a Beatles song. So now I get it. Sure it all it makes sense now. Pretty sure it was the original. Well, that I wrote. Copyright, copyright. So don't. I have a question about TV shows. Yeah. Uh, with Lost, for as an example, when you watch a show live, and you're waking and you're waiting week to week for the show. Yeah. Individual episodes matter a lot more. Mm-hmm. But when you're watching it all, say on a box set or whatever, it's it all it it all kind of runs together. You know what I mean? Yeah. So would you say what are what are kind of the pros and cons? You know, would you rather watch something all together on a box set and get the whole experience, or wait week to week and go, this episode kind of sucked? But you know, uh, two episodes from now it might be awesome. You know what I, I mean? I feel like it's a quantity thing. Um. I have gone through different shows that I felt like were better one way or not the other. Yeah. Um, like, honestly, I think... I really like Lost, and I loved... I liked the anticipation of, ooh, next week, ooh, I wait a week. Yeah, exactly. Week. I, I kind of enjoyed I never Sick saw, Torment. I never got that. But it was very... I honestly feel like once the seasons would come out, I'd watch them all at once. I enjoyed that more. Once, like... That's a show that I honestly felt like long breaks hurt. Like, when it was all said and done, you'd forget things, or things wouldn't be quite as clear or flow as well. I think that show was better marathoned. If you ever have sat down and watched, like, a whole season of it over a weekend, I think yeah. that's more fun, personally. Because there's a billion episodes of it that are an hour long. Just let it run. Now, when it comes to shorter show, like a 12 or 26 episode show... I'd space it out. I feel like when I watched, like, Evangelion, I got more out of it waiting a week between episodes, which I did when I first saw it, because it gave me time to kind of sit with those characters. Um, and and I, I remember watching Gurren Lagann, which is another anime series, all at once. I watched that, and when it was over, I was like, huh, all right, it's pretty good. And when I rewatched it again later, I spaced it out and I just liked it a lot more spaced out because you really, with that finite amount of time that you have, you really savor the characters more when you have a week between things to kind of, you know, whatever, you know, I, I don't know. So it just depends. Yeah. Like, like for me with Lost, it was, I would get a season at a time and I, I actually stopped watching after like 10 episodes yeah. and I came back to it months later. And then I got hooked halfway through season one. Yeah. And then it was just an episode of Lost was always waiting for me. Like it was like a nightly thing. Like sit down, watch one episode of Lost. All right, this will be here tomorrow or two days from now. You know what I mean? Yes. And it was just this six month long experience, all the Lost. And I never got anything spoiled for me either. And it was just a great thing. <laughs> and I was just thinking. I moved over for a second. I had to unplug this light. I didn't want it to go nuts. Anyway, sorry. But uh, it was just this big six-month-long experience of Lost, and when it was over, it was like, now what? You know what I mean? Especially with that ending, I was just like, I, had, I felt such a, a loss. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It was just, um, it felt like an experience, yeah. And that's another thing that benefits that show. I, I really think that having weeks and weeks and weeks between Lost episodes, it just, having too long between episodes gets you thinking about, what if it's this? What if this is going on? What about this? What about this? And when you watch it all at once, your brain doesn't do that. You just yeah. accept it for what it is, and it's an awesome, weird show. So that's why I like it for that. Yeah, yeah I, can I can definitely, definitely see a lot of, like, the whole nation experienced the finale together, you know what I mean? Yeah. And everyone had their own things that yeah. they were expecting, and when it wasn't what they expected, they were disappointed. But to me, yeah, it was exactly. like, and it was, I'm along for their ride. They should have an like that. Yeah. It, you know, it, it was exactly what it was going to be, and I think that that is cool. Uh -huh. And I never would have, I never would have even watched Lost if I hadn't 
gone back and looked at these older podcasts. Oh, really? That's you guys funny. talking about it. Yeah, and I'm like, what helicopter? What are they talking about? I can't listen to this podcast. <laughs> but now I think I'm on 104. I mean, I listen to them every day when I drive to college, and it's just... Oh, wow. It's awesome. It's like a whole nother thing. It's like, uh, I think I just listened to the first Faircast, or one of the first ones, the first time you guys did the tunnel thing, and it's like, I wasn't listening to this. This is like a, the start of a tradition. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, also, my parents moved to Florida a while ago, yeah. and I went down there, and it's uh, Ponte Vedra Beach, right by St. Augustine. Yeah, yeah. And this was about a year ago, and I moved down there, and I was going to high school there. And I was wearing my Mega 64 shirt one day, and I this kid runs up, walks up to me. Oh, you like Mega 64? I went to their panel here. The convention center is literally like 10 minutes away. And wh- from where, where is this? Sorry. Where? In uh, Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Oh. This was right right by the convention center for EXPCon. Huh. Oh, and wow. I'm like, and I've been, I knew you guys went to EXPCon, but now it's not happening anymore. Yeah, so I moved. I that. literally moved there. Right when you guys stopped doing it. Damn, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's I wish okay. we were still doing someday, it. Someday, someday I'll see you guys. But uh, yeah, and then I go back and I found the podcast with that kid in it, because you guys recorded the podcast there, yeah. and I showed, dude, this is you. Thousands uh, of people have seen you ask about what's your favorite video game company. Uh, that's funny. Like, what a stupid question. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good talking to you. Yeah, good talking to you. Too. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I, uh, I just got time travelers. Are oh, you gonna cool. be putting out Mega Sixty Four time anytime soon? What's that again? Mega Sixty Four time. Are you gonna the, reprint the that anytime one? soon? Yeah. I don't know. It it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, we completely sold out of it, and it was really like that's never been one of our bigger. <laughs> That's like it's, a. Fan. It's really funny because that was the first of its kind. Whatever, nighttime and time travelers, man, those are some of our best-selling things we've ever put out. But I'm just talking business here, you know. Whatever. Yeah. Mega sixty four time always kind of struggled. It, you know, it was always kind of in this middle area. Um, so I don't know if that's on our priority list, but I bet it'll be back at some point. I mean, I think you know we'll see. Okay. Well, I'll be looking forward to it. Cool. Thanks a lot. Uh, Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you very much.